Hi, Denise Vega here, author, and here we are for another episode of Picture Book Quick Tips. This is part three of my five part series on picture book abilities. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about read it again ability. So last time we had read aloud ability and now we are read it again ability. Um, so what am I talking about? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. We want to write a picture book that a child will want to hear again and again and again even if the poor parent, guardian, teacher, librarian is tired of it. But that is the mark of a wonderful book if we have a child who just wants to hear that story over and over again. So what can we do as writers to help increase that? And there's no magic formula that I'm aware of, surprise, surprise, but there are some things that I've observed around picture books and which picture books kids seem to really enjoy that tell me maybe those are some elements I might see if I can include in my own story if they fit the story itself. And so a couple of things. One is humor or silliness. So is there humor or silliness either at the end, at the beginning, throughout, and there's certain funny jokes in there or certain funny elements in the illustrations that will bring a child back because they want to f laugh again, they want to feel silly again, and that kind of thing. And that's probably, the I think, the biggest key to that read it again ability is having an element or elements that create a feeling or experience in the child and they want to experience that again. So whether it's laughter because it's humorous, whether it's a warm feeling and a safe feeling at the end of the story, uh, that's another way to do it. I think how that story ends and what the feeling is that a child goes away with really can impact that read again ability. So they want to feel that feeling again. So if you're ending on, like I said, that warm or safe note or a really funny note or a, oh my gosh, are you kidding note? No way. The kid's going to want to experience that again. So take a look at your own story and see if you have those elements there. And again, your story may not be humorous, so we put that one aside. Then you say, okay, what other elements are here that a child can connect with and will want to, and will want to experience again and again, and that's why they're going to come back to your story. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you next time on Picture Book Quick Tips.